Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Lockdown 23 and 1. So I got a little oil mark right here on my face. I don't know if y'all ever get them little oil things that itch a little bit. Well, I got one. I didn't get punched. I didn't get violated. Also, before we get into the daily prison news, I actually got a few stories I'm bringing your way today. It's not all going to be on this video, so be on the lookout for another video dropping later on. But first, let me show you my board, y'all. I have completed my next piece of art. That's right. <sighs> Look at that, man. It shines like a diamond. I got to get my... Look at that. Come on. Walk with me, baby. Walk with me. Walk with me. That's it. There she is, y'all. I don't know if y'all can even see the full scope of it. But we got the silhouette, the surfers, got a girl, two guys, one with the long board, two with shorts, sunset, and I threw some, I think these are, I believe these are or orchid flowers. I'm not quite sure, but she's done. It should be listed on my Etsy page for you to purchase. Keep in mind, six foot piece of wood. This is mainly for wall hangings, okay? Not to go hanging tin on. You will sink. But I am looking forward to seeing who uh, purchases this beautiful gem. I'll leave my Etsy page linked in the comment section below if you want to go buy it or just follow the page and be on the lookout for my next piece of art. Now, there's a lot of stuff that's been going on, man. Prison news, YouTube news, and I'm waiting on a few things to keep on going down before I start some of the, the YouTube news. But today, we are going to be starting off with Mr. Masterson. That's right, man. He got smoke. Oh, where's my smoke uh, thing? There it is, man. That smoke is kind of thick. But, of course, I forgot to say this. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, notification bell. Set it to all. We drop content over here, lockup-related content daily. We try to keep the young bucks out and keep the ones that are going to stay out entertained. Also, check out my playlist with almost 2,000 videos for you to start watching today. All right, coming from Los Angeles, that 70s show star Danny Masterson was sentenced to a whopping 30 years to life in prison for raping two women more than two decades ago at his Hollywood Hills home. Those Hollywood Hills homes never forget nothing, do they? If only those walls could speak. Masterson 47 showed no visible emotion after Los Angeles County Superior Court Judge Charlene Almedo threw the book at him. Hopefully I pronounced that name right, Your Honor. Mr. Masterson, I know that you're sitting here steadfast in your claims of innocence and thus no doubt feeling victimized by a justice system that has failed you. The judge said just before she dispatched Masterson to prison. Dispatched? Man, come on with these lingos. Like he's an officer of the law reporting to a scene. He's definitely reporting to D-Block front and center. Masterson's wife, Miss Phillips, a model and actor who was a constant presence at her husband's trial, quickly donned a pair of sunglasses after the judge announced the sentence. She left the courtroom without a word. Hmm. I don't know if that's a bad sign for their relationship or maybe she just wants to hide from, you know, the the tears. Maybe she's crying a bit. She don't want the whole reporter side of things to see her emotions at that grieving time. It goes on to say that Masterson was hit with the staggering sentence four months after he was convicted on two of the three rape counts he faced at his retrial in Los Angeles. A retrial, y'all, so he might have had a lot of hope and faith that he was going to beat this puppy. A lot of people think like that, right? Like they, they had a mistrial on the first one, they're definitely going to have it on the second one. He had been accused of rape. Three women identified at trial as Jane Doe number one, number two, and number three from 2001 to 2003. Now, this is a big thing that a lot of people out there committing crimes don't know about. I mean, 2001 and 2003, that's 20 years ago. So a lot of people might think, you know, especially individuals that might be in the same kind of situation as him, that just because it happened so long ago, you can't get hemmed up for it. Well, there's a thing called statute of limitations. And in a lot of states, when it comes down to rape and murder, there is no statute of limitations, meaning that they can be charged at any given time. Doesn't matter if it was 60 years ago. 
other crimes, you know, such as petty theft or grand larceny, stuff like that, they do usually have a statute of limitations on them. After like five years, you can't be convicted no more for that crime, right? But uh, that just depends on the state that you're in. Over here in Virginia, there's no statute of limitations, I believe, on anything. You can get hemmed up at any given time for whatever. So you always got to watch what you say about past crimes, man. You know, uh, check the laws in your state. Masterson, a once popular sitcom star, did not take the stand on either of his trials. He has, through his lawyers, repeatedly denied sexually assaulting the women. Neither did Masterson make any statement at his sentencing. Instead, he sat silently as the two women he was convicted of raping, as well as a former girlfriend whose rape accusation the jury deadlocked over in May, took turns urging the judge to hit him with the harsh punishment of 30 years to life in prison. And those of y'all that don't know exactly what that means, uh, 30 years is the minimum. And then he'll probably have to go in front of a parole board at which they'll decide if he just, he's going to get out or if he's just going to do life. So, man, regardless, you do 30 years at that age, you might as well do life. Screw it. That is your life now. Penitentiary. But still, man, you might, he might not even make it, right? You never know what kind of health issues people can come across later on in life, especially around, you know, 30 or 40. That's when everything starts cranking up. But, man, for him to be so famous and so much time, it's going to be hard for him. Are they going to put him in protective custody? Probably. I mean, this is California, right? He might get... I've done stories in the past where, you know, some people, they can pay for really nice cells. You know, it's expensive, but they do have places like that in California. I think the judge has to allow that, though. You would have to petition the courts again if I were to guess. But, man, 30 years in PC, I don't see that happening. And even if he does go to PC, uh, he's, he's still going to have probably a hard time. In order for them not to touch him... Uh, He'd have to be on like 23 and 1 for the rest of his bid. And everybody knows that paperwork like this in prison is like almost a green light special. So I'm really intrigued as to how he's going to survive that long prison sentence. But these girls came to the courtroom looking to smoke his boots. This is a statement from Jane 2 in the courtroom. It said, when you raped me, you stole from me. That's what rape is, a theft of the spirit. Mm -mm -mm, that is deep. You are pathetic disturbed and completely violent the world is better off with you in prison wow jane doe one says masterson has not shown an ounce of remorse for the pain he's caused well if he feels as though he's truly innocent i doubt he would be showing any remorse either i knew he belonged behind bars for the safety of all the women he came in contact with she goes on to say, I'm so sorry, I'm so upset, I wish I'd reported him sooner to the police. And Jane Doe 3 comes in strong as well, said Masterson's actions sentenced her to viewing my body as a crime scene my entire life. Wow, those are some gruesome wordings, ain't it? God, buried him with those. In a post-sentencing statement, Los Angeles County District Attorney George said, I'm not even about to try to pronounce him his last name, he applauded the women for coming forward and participating in this process. My hope is that this sentence will somehow bring them peace and that their bravery will be an example to others. One of my top priorities to ensure that the Los Angeles will no longer be hunting ground for Hollywood elite who feel entitled to prey on women. Mr. Masterson's lawyers said in a statement that the legal battle is not yet over. So they're probably going to be coming with an appeal process. And keep in mind, a lot of people do beat on appeals. I don't know if that's the case with this one, if he can or not. But it sounds like that's the route that they're probably going to be taking. And the lawyer also says, though we have great respect for the jury in this case, for our system of justice overall, Mr. Masterson did not commit the crimes for which he has been convicted, and we in the appellate lawyers, the best and the brightest in the country, are confident that these convictions will be overturned. You know, I don't know, man. Uh, those were some pretty, like, guaranteed type of words, man. They might have something hidden up their sleeves. Who knows? Masterson's first trial ended in November with a mistrial. That's a bulk of it. I mean, uh, I'm not going to get into the juicy details. If you want to, you go ahead and Google search all the stuff that's happened so far in this trial. But he is definitely starting a long bid in a very dangerous state to be doing time in. 
you know, a lot of people don't know, but when you go into California prison system, uh, you know, they kind of, the inmates have a certain structure where they separate by race. So let's say old Masterson was to jump into the general population, which I know for a fact he ain't. But if he did, he would have to join sides with the white guys or the woodpile, right? And then, you know, if he did that, you know, a lot of people, they have backup now. They join the woodpile. They have some homeboys, you know, they're hanging out with and they're kind of, you know, if anything jumps off, they're going to be riding out with you. That's how it works. And if you don't ride out with your race, with the wood power or something, then chances are they're going to get you. But this is the thing. They don't respect this type of paperwork. So he wouldn't even be allowed to get up in the mix of that to begin with, man. So he's messed up all the way around. He's going to have to stay in some kind of PC unit his whole 30 years, right? But I'm just glad I'm not in his shoes, man. Damn. You know, I'm thankful to be free today doing this story. Makes me feel a lot better about any kind of issues I do got going on, that's for sure, which ain't too many. Mr. Masterson, man, you have got a ride ahead of you. But that's the bulk of it, ladies and gentlemen. Just want to give you a little highlight on this case. And I, I don't want to speak on anything else. I kind of just want to dedicate old Masterson to this video. That's why there's going to be multiple videos today. Uh, stay tuned later on and just probably an hour after this one's uploaded, I'll be dropping a story on the escaped convict from Pennsylvania, as well as from what I heard, Texas prison system all the way across the state is on lockdown 23 and one, which is, if I were to guess, probably not even one, they're getting 24 hour treatment, you know, and I've lived through situations like that where the whole compound's on lockdown. You got to wait. For everybody to get their hour out, take a shower, and sometimes it takes days before you get to you. So let's go ahead and tap that like, subscribe, notification bell before you leave. And like I said, stay tuned. We got another one coming your way here shortly.